what's your relationship with money if you're a christian you know are very religious and you hear things like oh money is the root of all evil or even things like you know that wealthy people are bad people where do i draw the line between wanting to be very successful and you know just living a lethargic life of okay sarah sarah what will be would be hello premium queen welcome to today's video and if today's your first time joining us thank you for spending and sharing your time with me today we'll be discussing how do you really see money how do you see wealth we've been on this journey talking about limitless wealth creation blueprints um limitless wealth creation journey wealth creation through entrepreneurship dreaming and all the likes but how do you really see wealth when i say something like a fresh yellow mango what do you see do you see the words or do you see an image in the same vein when i say the word wealth what do you see what is the first image that comes to your mind in my own case when i did this exercise i realized that what wealth meant to me was happy fun being able to afford anything that I want to afford in a luxurious way without having to make compromises. What image do you see? What's your relationship with money? What are your beliefs around money? If you're a Christian, you know, are very religious and you hear things like, oh, money is the root of all evil. The truth is that what the Bible actually says is that the love of money is the root of evil. But somehow, you know, with the teachings of contentment, it's almost like, where do I draw the line between wanting to be very successful and, you know, just living a lethargic life of, okay, Sarah, Sarah, what will be, would be. How do you see money? What's your relationship with money? What were the things you heard and saw growing up as a child around money? Did you hear things like, please, please, please don't disturb me. Money doesn't grow on trees. Or things like, so where do you want me to get the money from? Or even things like, you know that wealthy people are bad people. You may have just heard things like this that has messed up your relationship with money and wealth. What do you envision as wealth? What do you see? What are you thinking in your mind around wealth creation do you think that making money is so hard do you think it is difficult do you think it's only for a select few okay we hear about the one percentile you know it's like oh the ultra rich and the ultra wealthy do you ever sit and imagine that you can be within this circle of people do you ever imagine that you can play within the circle of influence what really are your thoughts around money when you think about something that you want do you think oh i can't afford it or do you think, I'll find a way around it? What do you really think? These experiences subconsciously or sometimes even very consciously help us to self-sabotage when it comes to wealth creation, any money, increasing our income. It's almost as though there is something called like a wealth or money thermostat. So the moment you get to that point where you're comfortable or beyond your comfort zone and you start to make money beyond your wealth thermostat, you start to push the money away. You start to say things like, oh, you know, I'm actually not in business to make money. Oh, you know, I'm just doing this for fun. Oh, you know, I really don't care about money. Oh, you know, can you sit down, pause within yourself? This is a self-awareness journey. Ask yourself really, what are the things you hear yourself saying about money? And where is that coming from? Do you really not need money? Do you really not like money? Do you really not love the good things of life? You don't want that dream vacation? You don't want to fly a private jet or fly a business class or better yet, first class, sit on a yacht, sipping on a glass of champagne? You don't want it? No, it doesn't come without money. What really are your thoughts about money? How do you see money? What do you envisage? When you think wealth, do you think of your dream life? Do you think of the better life you want to give to your family and your children and the things that you want to achieve? Do you even think about the number of people you want to help? I mean, how much money do you really need as an individual to survive? But how about you look at money and see money as a tool to impact lives, to help people, you know, pay their school fees, to help the less privileged, you know, to just do things around philanthropy. Who said that the money you're earning is just for you? 
So you hear things like, you know, how much do I need for myself and my family? I don't need a lot of money, so I don't want to make a lot of money. Really? Or something in your past? Something in your mind? Something where you don't believe in your capacity and your capabilities to create wealth. And you then find very nice alibis and excuses to help you to self-sabotage the gift that is inside of you that can be multiplied and can reach everybody on the globe. The Bible says, Arise, shine, for your light is come. Right? And the Bible also says that you're a city set upon a hill. Same Bible says that the cattle upon a thousand hills are his. If you get where I'm coming from, there's an abundance of wealth. Why are you thinking very shallow? Why are you thinking very myopic? What is guiding these thoughts of yours? Which is then translating into actions. So you see someone and you think the person is lazy or not as hardworking. But really and truly this is coming from the thoughts that, you know, I don't need so much money. So why do I want to work hard? Why do I want to kill myself when I can just, you know, generally get by? Why get by when you can thrive? I would love to see in the comments section what your greatest worries and fears and concerns are around money and around wealth creation and you never know you may begin to dig up why you're self-sabotaging the level of wealth that you can command why you're self-sabotaging developing the capacity that you have to command greater wealth and not deal with lack anymore until next video Whilst you ponder on these questions, remember that your dreams are valid. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, click on the bell icon and set notification for weekly upload of videos like this that would inspire you to dream and create wealth through entrepreneurship. And you just keep thriving.